What is up guys and gals? Welcome back to Punch Club. Oh, I've been craving this day. I have been craving this day like a lovely piece of fudge. I haven't got to record Punch Club in about a week now, and I haven't streamed it in about a week now either, and so I was definitely feeling that itch where I wanted to play some Punch Club, and as luck would have it, I was out of episodes, and so this is going to be a pretty fun day. I'm excited. We're right now in Russia, training to fight a bear, and I think also to do a whole bunch of other stuff so that we can take down Zangief, and then... Once we take him down, we'll be able to a friend. I think we'll be able to avenge our friend Roy, which is super swell. For right now, I think we were working on agility. I don't know exactly how high I want to take this up. I've never done an agility build before. I've seen other people's agility builds, i.e., other characters in game, and so I'm thinking 20-ish would be perfectly fine to finish the game with. There is gonna be a little bit of grind. I actually don't like the final runway of this game. This part right here. I like this part until we get to the part right after this, and that's when it gets a little bit grindy, and you're like, mm, I don't know if I want to do this anymore. But all in all, I think it's worth it. Let's punch a tree for a little while. Oh man, we are losing some serious pointage right now, aren't we? Okay. Well, let's stay on it. I don't know what training I've done recently, so I'm going to jump into each one of these, and we'll just kind of, okay, so I already did pull-ups. My guess is that I've more than likely already chopped wood as well, but we'll give that a go in just a second. Chop that wood! He's hacking and whacking and smacking, just hacking and whacking and chopping that wood. Look, we have a bunny totem. The bunny is with us. Strike with the strength of the bunny, brother. I don't think of bunnies as being super strong, but either way, the workouts here are way better than any of the ones at home. Like, seriously, this is where you want to pump up your stats, and then from here, you just want to maintain them. So don't leave Russia until your stats are at their final configuration. And then from there, just run maintenance. It's going to be very, very, very difficult for us to get over 18 agility. We're going to struggle with that a little bit. Just because the workout regimen here, while it is very, very efficient, it unfortunately does not supply you with multiple machines that train the same thing specifically, which is what you need on the back end of the game. Oh, look at that. We got. Do I want pierogies or do I want borscht? Ooh, I don't know what I... Th I just ate breakfast, so I'm kind of full. This is not the time to make this... I think I like pierogies better. I think I'm going to go with Piroshkis for right now. Piroshkis sound absolutely fantastic. There we go. Now that we're all Piroshkied out, I do like any type of dumpling. That's what it comes down to. I just love dumplings. I, That's all that I want in life is dumplings. I like pot stickers. I like Piroshkis. I like American dumplings. I like dumplings and soup. We do that too. My family's southern, so my grandma makes a dumpling soup that's hella good. It is amazing. We could actually fight another fight if we wanted to. We're not getting a bunch of agility from this. I was expecting to get way more agility, and unfortunately, it did not go like that. We had a net gain of 70. Yeah, it's going to be tough to raise this. It's going to be tough. However, we should have gotten the cooldown finished off on our pull-up bar, so maybe that'll do it. It interests me that the pull-up bar doesn't give you strength, because I do a lot of pull-ups. I have a pull-up bar, one of those ones that you attach to your door hinge. And I probably do about 150 or 200 pull-ups a day. And you can definitely see your arms begin to tone after probably about two weeks of doing it. I mean, in between that and cardio, if you actually rotate your hand positions on the bar, like what he's doing right there, that's actually a tough pull-up right there where you put your hands on top of each other. I don't like doing those ones because the pressure of my hand on top of the other hand, I don't know, it puts too much pressure on the top of my hand for my body weight and it hurts. I just don't like it. Apparently I have soft girly man knuckles or something. And so I can't do it, but I do the ones where you got the hands forward, do the hands backwards, then you got the hands kind of shaped like you're jerking off two dudes at the same time, like next year. <laughs> it was the only way I knew how to do it. I couldn't come up with any other metaphors. Leave me alone. Hand positioning. Hand positioning. Also phrasing. Still, I do like pull-ups. I think pull-ups are probably, between pull-ups and push-ups, you should be able to tone the hell out of your arms pretty easily. You probably won't bulk just because the weight never increases and you just have to keep increasing repetitions or maybe putting your hands closer and closer together as you do the same thing. I don't think you'll bulk very much, but you'll definitely tone. Looks like we're eating borscht today. Cool. And that leaves us not with a whole lot else to work on, actually. Did I chop wood as much as I could? Okay, I've chopped wood as much as I could. I thought at first they let you pull the sled. The first time that I came here, I thought maybe you could pull the sled, but nope, can't pull the sled. I thought that was a rocky thing too. Didn't he have to like put wood on a sled and then tow it all over the place using his back muscles? He had to be a reindeer for a little while. A professional rocky reindeer. We got the stat. I think we actually took the perk earlier in the series where we can't get our stamina above 8 anymore. So it's going to fall off every single time we try to raise it. It should always go back to 8 as far as I know. So I'm probably just going to ignore that. I'm going to work on that as like a side consequence and never as like a main thing. 
I will more than likely fight once we get to 18 agility. It's just tough to get there while we've got so many. Actually, we're going to have to sleep, too. Ain't that a beezy. All right, well, we're going to have to sleep, so I'm going to do it now rather than later. But we may lose all that agility that we just trained for. Sleeping is a terrible, terrible plan in this game. Once you get to high stat loads, because they've rigged the stats so hard against you, you can't really sleep anymore once you get to the end game because you won't have the stats to beat some of the hardest people in the game. But simultaneously, if you sleep, you will never be able to, because you see what happened right there? We have a day where our training was off, and so we weren't able to get our stats back up, and I bet we'll just barely be able to nullify the loss today, which means tomorrow's workout is also going to be subpar. Let's see what the numbers come down to. Yeah, see, we lost 153. We just lost all the work that we just did because we had to sleep. So sleeping in this game is highly detrimental. It actually surprises me that they haven't nerfed the stat loss yet. They've really stuck to their guns on that one. And it surprises me because the stat loss is definitely over the top in this game. It's one of the few things about this game that I strongly dislike. The, the stat loss is one of those things where I'm like, you could just make your gain stats about a third as fast and then just have no stat loss at all. And then there would be hard caps where if you had too many stats leveled up, then you'd start losing stats instantly to the next integer down until you swap stats around by one point in either direction. But still, they've stuck to their guns about it. Surprise me. I figured they would have caved on it just because there was a lot of complaints about it. But hey... I guess it's as intended. As intended. Stat loss is gnarly, though, so what you're going to want to do to negate the stat loss at the end of the game is you're just going to live off energy drinks. I think my last character that I beat the game with didn't sleep for like 100 days straight when I was training to like do movies and all kinds of stuff at the end of the game. You become like Jason Statham. I don't know if I just spoiled, but you know what? We're about to get there anyways. I'd love to push that up to 18 before we fight anybody else, but let's go to Ivan. Let's say we are ready to fight. Okay, if you think you're ready. Your second opponent is a friend of mine. Actually, he's not really a fighter. He's a philosopher. So we're fighting against Bratishka. Bratishka has agility, so we don't want to run... Yeah, we want to run crossroads. And then... Is he even running block? If he's not running block, we probably shouldn't run that. Do I have anything... I still haven't bought weight. I need to buy weight so that I can offset my fights. You know, running double unstoppable might be good, although he'll proc. I don't know if that'd be a wise idea because you can only use two defensive abilities at a time. So if I drop Windflow Dodge, we could then put that in. Basically, I'm going to have to pick something to put in. And I don't really want to pick anything. I'll just put this back in. It's not going to help much, but there's nothing else in our lineup that I want to put in instead of it. Basically, everything else would be a detriment to our build, and so I'm just going to put that right there. There we go. Starting off strong. Let him combo himself to death. Five damage dealt right there. It's important to distinguish. Our defensive abilities are split into two categories. We've got one that reflects a percentage of damage. That's way more useful against strength builds. And then we've got one that reflects pure damage, which it's actually the pure damage of, I think, our strike. Way more useful against agility builds because the reflection damage that you're going to get out is not quite as good because he only hits for like four or five at a time. That means if you're getting 40% of four or five, it's only two or like three, you know, if you're really, really lucky. Whereas if we get to strike with our pure damage, we're getting six or seven out each time. So just bear that in mind. If we're fighting a guy with these stats reversed, we had 13 strength, seven agility, and two stamina. We'd probably, well, we'd know we would win in the first place because the stamina is terrible. But then... On top of that, we would run the other ability that reflects a percentage because that guy'd probably be hitting for 30 to 40 damage on every swing, and so we want him to take 40% of that. This fight is actually going pretty well for us. I don't think we're going to struggle too much with the end of the game. We may struggle with some of the final agility characters. The natural, I think the natural counterbalance to some of the final agility characters is a character who is both accurate but hits really hard. I think I knocked out the champion of the world in like less than one round with my strength build. With an agility build, I'm actually sort of interested to see how it's going to... Oh, we got actually KO'd. That's not good. I wasn't expecting that. That's troublesome. I mean, he'll knock himself out from our dodges, but if we run out of stamina... I'm definitely thinking we have to come up with some kind of stamina stat. We, I think we should probably go the next time we level up. You've earned my respect. Thank you, man, who I've never met before in my entire life. Now, can you tell me everything you know about my father and the medallion? Yes, I can. Here's what you need to know about your father. Your father was a wise man, but he loved you and your brother too much. 
I think this love cost him his life. He swore to protect the medallion, and we all knew of its power. Your father decided it would be a good idea to use it. He loved you and your brother. He decided to split the medallion into two halves and gave each one of you a half. But we knew that it was an awful idea. You just can't give a powerful medallion to children. We don't even know if the split medallion will work. We have to take the medallion from you. Over my dead body. When my sons grow up, they will be true heroes. John was accused of killing your father. The police found his fingerprints on the gun. And I'm sure he's innocent. Mick took the medallion. I decided to leave the punch club. I moved to the far side of the world. Maybe my father had enemies, somebody who wanted to take the medallion. He had no enemies, and I'm sure nobody knows about the medallion outside the punch club. I hope my story helps you find the killer of your father. But you still need to beat Ivan Geef. I heard that he's as strong as a bear. So the last test for you should be a fight with a real bear. If you're victorious, then you have a chance against Ivan Geef. Alright, so we gotta go fight a bear. I think we got a couple days until that fight goes through, though, if I remember right. I think there's like a little cooldown or something. Let's keep going. We gotta mash out these stats as fast as we can. Hopefully, recovering from our sleep day since we can't use energy drinks to offset the stat loss. A little bit more of a axe chopping action going right there. Not a lot of pull-ups to get done today, unfortunately. I was hoping we'd be able to do a little bit more, but that'll actually work, I think. The cooldown is not totally reset, but it's reset enough to where I think we can make progress. Really sort of dithering right now on that 18, though. We're having trouble with it. I'll probably give it another day or two, and then we'll fight Ivan Geef regardless of where our stats are at, because I don't think he's going to be able to hit us anyways. If he does, damn, is it going to hurt. And I do think that the AI gets a slight buff to their hit chance when they run low agility, high strength builds, because I noticed they seem to hit... I ran a strength build, and until I actually kept my agility equal with my strength, I couldn't hit anything, like, ever. I spent entire fights just getting dodged over and over and over again, and it seems to me that the AI does not suffer from that same affliction having watched and now played an agility character. I think they tap you a little bit more frequently than you think they would. That'll get us there. That resets our wood chopping, hopefully. Yeah, at least gets it close enough. We'll be able to go in on the 18 today, I think. We just barely outran that stat loss. That's amazing to me. We're losing a lot of stats right now, but once we get back to town, it should be a little bit easier. Come on, push out that 18. I believe in you. We've got to go fight a bear in just a second. So believe me when I say I want you as spry and dodgy as possible. If you can dodge a bear, then you can dodge a ball. No, I don't want to do that yet. I was just wondering why you're not freezing to death in your shirt. Oh, I hate doing the laundry, so I got used to only having one piece of cloth. You see, you're a real hero. I should have a drink. That shirt's got to be gnarly. You know it is. That shirt has got to be downright disgusting. It's got to be brutal. Yikes. I have gym clothes. I know. They got to be bad. You got to wash that stuff every now and again. Pull it out the locker. Otherwise it just sits in there and just accumulates stink. And you're just like, no. It's nasty. You got to be careful about it, kids. Got to be careful about it. If you radiate stink, your social interactions might be a little bit more difficult. It's an underestimated point that I think a lot of people ignore. There's a lot of stinky people in the world. Everybody's been standing around in line next to somebody who just smells terrible and their nose blind to it like they don't even know because they've been stinky for so long that their nose doesn't register stink anymore. Like, man, how bad is that? You killed your nose, dude. Like, your stink is so powerful that you killed your own nose. You murdered it dead. You just force choked that thing out. Just levitated it up in the air. And it's like, this is it, Senior Sniffles. That's my nose's name. My nose's name is Senior Sniffles. You, you just choke it out. The life is gone afterwards. I am ready to fight. Okay, if you think you're ready. I think I hear a bear roaring. God. <laughs> gotta fight a bear who's got a Chewbacca belt on. And then he's also got himself what looks like a Nushanka. My dad loves Nushanka. He's always wearing them. He's got one that's made out of like... I don't even know. It's made out of like wolf or something from 
Siberia or something like that. It was a really big deal when he got it. He's, he wears it all the time. He's had it for like 30 years now, and he wears it every time it's cold out. It's It might be his favorite object in the entire world. I don't think the bear is going to be able to tap us, too. Oh, I should have swapped in the other. Oh, he's got the reflective damage, too. That's unfortunate. We may have troubles. We've got to rely on him to DPS himself, basically. Or gas out. That's the other half of it. Let me remove that one. And we need to put in this one. That one will do a lot better. Should, anyways. He should more or less combo himself to death. Unless he actually runs out of stamina and doesn't attack us. That's not good, because he's regenerating stamina at a pretty decent rate. Like, basically, we're going to have to beg the... There we go. A little bit better damage out right there from the dodges. we got to avoid getting blocked, too. Getting blocked is really going to take a toll on our health. Those three to four hits, like when you're dodging somebody... I'm sorry, when you're hitting somebody and they're blocking you, reflecting the damage over and over again, it can really actually cause you issues. There's a big 22 right there. Sitting on 22s puts you on your ass. Studying you fight instead of studying you for class. Man, combos are going right now. That bear got flexed on. Holy shit. How did the bear get his nose fur to match his hat? That was amazing. That guy is kitted out and ready to go. You dealt with the small bear. He was huge and scary. Scary? You should have seen my ex-wife. <laughs> Seriously, though, your next fight will be against Ivan Geef. Make sure you're ready. Yeah, the next fight against Ivan Geef. Might be a little bit. We're going to have to fight for that 18 pretty soon. We're going to have to fight for our right to 18. That'll do for right now. I think that gets us close enough. And that should reset the coolie on some of this. And now we just got to flex this thing out and hope that we get just enough to maintain the 18. But I don't think we will. Yeah. The stat loss is gnarly. Like I said, the end of the game gets incredibly grindy because of it. And actually, that's why I put the caveat in the description of some of my first episodes where I was like, I don't know if we'll do the entire game because knowing what I know now, it gets a wee bit grindy in the twilight hours of the game. Definitely turns into like a grinding simulator for a little while. It's not a bad thing, I don't think, because initially it strikes me as sort of a phone game. And so for a phone game, this is a really fantastic phone game. It's the perfect, I had to shift, I have a pillow on my computer chair, and I had to shift it because it was like moving downwards, and it was halfway in between like the corner of the seat and my butt cheek, and I don't like that one little bit. I don't like that at all. No sorry, Bob. I'm just going to keep these rocking as long as possible, and I probably won't push for a 19. I think I'll try to fight Ivan Geef at 18s. I think it's our best option. Pushing for a 19 just doesn't seem like it's going to happen. So let's see if he's actually rotated the schedule. I'm ready. Your opponent will be ready soon. Oh, he hasn't actually. Okay, so we have to keep training. That's not too bad. I just don't want to get right to the 19 in order to lose it right afterwards. I strongly dislike losing solid integers in this game. Although technically, I guess the solid there is not needed. You could just say integers. I don't like using this piece of training equipment, but I have to. It's a waste of stamina considering we're gaining two stats that we don't need and in fact one stat that is detrimental to our build. I only like using that just long enough to let everything else recharge. And even so, we're gonna have a we're gonna have a pretty tough time training some of these things. We'll try on 151 to go after Ivan Geef. Looks like he's all burned out on the pull-up bar. That's almost recharged. So we should be able to make solid progress off chopping some wood. I used to chop wood every day. I did. That was actually after I get back from my cardio. I'd start chopping wood. And you'd do it as fast as you could. Just line them up and bam, bam, bam. Just nonstop try to keep a rhythm as you were going. It's a pretty good workout. It wasn't the worst workout I've ever seen. The worst workout I've ever seen is probably an exercise bike. My, I don't like exercise bikes. I don't feel like you get a good solid burn on exercise bikes. And I set them up to like high resistance uphill both ways the entire time and still... I don't like exercise bikes. I just don't feel like I get a good workout from them. It feels like a half-acid workout to me. Like, you'll do like 30 minutes and you'll be sweating like a hog, and yet I'll feel like I worked the muscle more than I worked cardio. 
And I guess if that's what you're trying to do, it works out pretty well. You'll tighten up your thighs pretty good from it, but I don't know. I already got that side of the game covered. I already got that side of the game covered from my jogging every day. This game gets me in the mood to work out, man. It really does. I'm about to work out super hard when I get done with this recording session. It's about to go. I'm going to get my montage training on. Oh, look at that. It reset in the middle of us actually doing the workout. I don't think I've ever seen that happen before. That was weird. Huh. What an amazing thing. There's the bear. We kicked his ass, and so he took off his Chewbacca belt and gave up. Went back to nature and chasing hunters. He went back to the only thing he knows. Chasing down hunters and annihilating them for intruding upon his forest. That icon was really big. I think we're about capped out on stats for Russia. When we get back, actually we're going to come back from Russia after this. We'll have a much, much better training setup that'll give us a better chance to get the things that we want out of the world. I'm ready. Okay, if you think you are ready. Best of luck. I believe in you. Ivan Geef! Now, Ivan Geef should not be able to lay hands on us. I don't think. He's got Exhauster, though, so if he hits us like once, we lose. So... This could be a little bit weird. We'll see how it goes. Our current build is exactly where we want to be. Our goal here is mostly going to be to counter him to death. And if it works, it works. If it doesn't, it doesn't. Come on, buddy. Are we fighting in front of a czar right now? Who are we fighting in front of? We've done 50. He's done 20. Yeah. Unless he gets lucky with the ratios, we should win this. It's going to be a long fight, though. It's going to take us a bit. That reflective damage is not helping either. I need him to throw a few strikes and hopefully miss. Because that'll add an extra 14, 15 damage on. I mean, we're whittling him down. It's not that bad. We're doing okay. Let me check this one last time. Because I kind of feel like Crossroads deal pure damage to your opponent on any successful... Huh. I wonder if I'm reading this wrong. Let's run it first. I'm wondering if I've been reading that wrong the entire time, and therefore influencing you all wrong. The wording is a little bit sketchy, and so... We might actually gas out before we put him down. That's the really terrifying part. If we gas out, we're toast. Oh, no. Yeah, we need weight. We need weight as part of our build. We're going to have to have it. This has happened far too many times now where people outlast us. And unfortunately, him outlasting us, he's going to knock us out in this round. At a certain point, you have no strength left to dodge. I'm sorry, no... Oh, we might. I don't know. I was going to say, it seems sketchy to me. Let's take... That actually costs us more stamina, so let's take that out. We'll put that guy back in. I think that's where a lot of the stamina is going to, is that it's more expensive, but it deals more damage. Really wish he would stop striking, and he would just, like, dodge this guy to death. Also, if you could actually dodge, that'd be great. How come our reflective damage is not working? There we go. We're one hit from a knockout, though. Oh, man. So is he. Oh, we got him. Wow, we pulled that one right out at the end. Holy shit. Okay. Well, if he had had a couple more points of agility, that was basically the build that I was running when I was playing my strength build. There's a couple things changed around, but you did it. Your father be proud of you, and I definitely am. You've beaten Ivan Geef and got the medallion back. What are you going to do now? Thank you for everything, but now I have to go back home. I must find the killer of my father. Hooray! We got the medallion back. My congratulations. I've already read about your win in the newspaper. It wasn't easy. I managed to succeed only because of Ivan's help. Now you have the medallion, and what's more important, you've proven yourself worthy of it. I also learned more about the medallion's power. This is clearly just one half of the medallion. Therefore, the other half must be somewhere, and I bet when I find it, it'll lead me to one stop, or it'll lead me one stop, or one step closer to my father's killer. Oh, by the way, got great news. While you were in Russia, I managed to track down your brother. 
He lives in a warehouse across the river. You'll recognize him by his black mask. Oh my god, my brother. I'll get over there right away. That's it for our episode. My name is Splattercat. This is Punch Club. Having a blast playing the game. I will see you all next time. Hi to everybody.